Hello, in this Death Mune video, I am going to show you how to hook up your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. So it could be the older one where the lights only at the back, or it could be the newer one like this one, with the lights at the back and the light at the front through the touch bar. And this is one of the easiest controllers that you can connect. Just want to say this video is not condoning piracy, and this is for Windows, and I'll have a video in the description I to just set up Desmium. So this is just how to set up a controller. If you want to know how to set up the emulator, I'll have a separate video covering that. But in terms of this, no matter what version of PS4 controller you have, if you plug in a micro USB cable and just whack that into your computer, it's plug and play, wire, no other configuration. If you want to do wireless, all you need is Bluetooth. So you can get a cheap Bluetooth dongle. If you've got a laptop, you probably already got it built in and you're all good to go. So it's it is that is really good and if we go to bluetooth so you can either connect it via this click that click bluetooth or if you go to the older menu and you might have only this if you're on an older version of windows you can click add a device and add bluetooth or device and now you got to put this into pairing mode to do that you press the sh share button and the playstation button at the same time and this will start flashing. So I'm going to press them, the share and PlayStation button. The light will start flashing pretty fast. That's in pairing mode. Go to Bluetooth. You'll appear here as wireless controller. Click that. Shouldn't take too long to connect. Boom, there we go. And now it's solid. And now, if we, an easy way to check if it's actually connected is by typing in game and go to setup USB game controllers. And in here, go to properties. If moving the analog sticks and pressing buttons triggers events here, it's great, fine, good to go. If not, just you know remove it from your Bluetooth settings. You can do that by where is the you can just like do that, remove. And another tip: if you find it doesn't connect or doesn't work, right here, if you're if you turn the controller around on the right hand side, so behind the left hand side from the front, there's a little hole. And if you put a pin in there for a few seconds, it resets the controller. I find that helps, especially when you're switching between devices. That helps just, you know, clear the memory up and just reset it. And in terms of the best thing to put in there, I've seen people try to put like pens and pencils or even needles. Don't bother doing that. Pretty much everyone will have this little thing. The SIM card ejector always works best. Does not scratch it or mess about it because it's pretty blunt at the end. And it's the exact size that you need. It doesn't get stuck, so a SIM card ejector would do the trick. And really, that, that's as a last resort if it's not working. Obviously, feel free to combine this with something like S SCP Toolkit or DS for Windows if you want more control over the controller. But honestly, it's pretty plug and play. You don't need to do anything else. And if we open up Desmium now, and if we go to do config, go to where is it? Control config and so up will be this one i mean you're probably not gonna see a change on here because they're already configured to my xbox controller and they're pretty similar mapping so if i press x for example you see button one there and i had b as x there so let's say if we go back to right and i go right b i'll do circle this time i'll do a uh x i do y as triangle and i'll do x as square start as the option button select as the share button l and the left is gonna be this one and i'll just do there you go so that's all configured and now if we click ok Let's run the recent ROM and if we press it and we can move up and down, turn the volume down a bit and if we go to options, click back and that's it. Obviously you can play whatever game you want, let me know what game you're looking forward to play with this DS emulator. And I'm going to move on to some 3DS emulators now. I will eventually do Desmium and other emulator stuff on other platforms like Mac, Linux, to the Android port. I'll be doing all that stuff as well. 
So let me know if you have any requests and I'll be showing you how to configure like an Xbox and PS4 controller. I'll concentrate on those two controller types. I find they're the most popular ones and they're the ones that people mainly want. So let me know what you want. Let me know your feedback. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group. There's a link in the description and just post in one of the emulator channels. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.